Hey, what's up, guys? Well, let's go back here. And today, we are going to be playing some Shutterwalk Shaman. Um, This is a deck I just haven't played in a while, so I was very, very interested in playing it again. So, yeah, that's that's the main reason why we're playing this today. Um, Besides that, um, I've also been noticing... I've been playing a lot of Pillager Rogue off uh, recording. I've been noticing a strange increase in combo decks, which might sound weird because i don't think that combo decks are necessarily that great in this meta i do think the meta is very very aggro and a lot of our combo decks that are very popular are very weak to um aggro so the thing is shadow Watch shaman is the killer of other combo decks uh running double dirty rat running mutinous so you can get down very very early on on top of that with double brilliant macaw you should on shadow Walk. The only one you really have a hard time against is Quest Mage, because that deck is just really, really hard to beat, if I'm being honest. That deck loses more to itself than does to other people, unless you're playing like Pirate Rogue or those other really, really fast aggro decks. Um, but yeah, also this deck has a, you know, it has a matchup against um, the aggro decks. It's not a good one. Um, it's I would say it's like close to 50-50, probably like 45-55 type percent. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of interested to try it, and I'm running some cards I don't like in this version. I don't, not the biggest fan of Finley. I think two schoolings is a lot, especially if you hit control decks often. Like, I'm not a big fan of that, but they are very, very good against aggro. Um, but besides that, yeah, um, it's most of the Finley that I'm not the biggest fan of, but I've noticed that a lot of lists run it, and I just decided why not try it today. So yeah, anyways. With this very long intro out of the way, how about let's queue up the first game and let's see how everything goes. All right, guys? Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all in the first one. All right. It's the Priest Fortress that always makes me think like I'm queuing against... Um... It's the Priest Fortress that always makes me feel like I'm queuing against... Uh, what's the name of that class? Uh, Demon Hunter. I don't know why they chose this. Like genuinely this hero portrait just looks like it would be Demon Hunter. Also another thing that I'm not the biggest fan of, of current, um, oh, it's a big priest. That's not good for us. Another thing that I don't like um, about modern day Shadow Walk list, and it's, it's kind of why I've been steering a little bit more away from playing the deck. And one of the reasons I don't like the deck as much as I did before. Um, was they stopped running the combo where you go infinite with your shutter walks and honestly like that was part of the most fun i had playing the deck i still think that version is playable um i think like you could cut like the bolner you could potentially cut uh the fall i definitely think you could cut finley i'm not a fan of finley like at all and things like that from the deck to make put it a little bit more in that style i want to just play this here I want to go coin uh, Ravager next turn, so I have to play something. Um, but yeah, no, I, I just think that it's, I don't know, I, I find that the versions get a little bit more boring when you don't have that possibility. That's what you're kind of uh, playing towards. Although not running the Murloc one definitely does help with the Ravager uh, curve. Oh, we're playing against combo. We might just be fucked. See, like, if this was anything else, right, I would be in a much better position if this wasn't Finley. Uh, next turn, that's three, four, five, six, seven. Don't quite have enough mana for that. Yeah, this is not good. Pretty sure we're going to be too slow now, but if I play the second Clownfish, this costs three mana next turn. Can technically top deck a Brilliant Macaw and play it, but that requires something on my board dying. This does put just a little bit more pressure on, which I'm very, well, which is what I'm kind of looking for. That's 6, 10, 13 damage. It's a two turn clock. I could trade in my smaller, weaker dudes. Go 
three. Okay. That was actually a pretty good eat. Should slow him down just a little bit. Um, I don't want to play this yet. I'll play it next turn. So the reason I don't want to play it yet is in case he can summon another taunt. I'm dead anyways. I guess it was not a good eat. Yeah, if he's holding double radiant, it was not a good eat, sadly. What did he play that costs more than... Oh, the second one costs... Uh, I see. Okay. Twelve twenty four. Yeah, I'm just dead. If he has a double double, I just die here. Yeah. He has a double double. What can you do? We were slightly too slow. We had to eat a Radiant Elemental. Uh, if we would have eaten Radiant Elemental, we were fine. But sadly, uh, we ate, I guess, the weaker out of the minions. They didn't think he had all of his minions in his hand. Oh, well, let's just get the next one and hopefully uh, get a dub this time. All right, Death Knight. My guess is probably even if I had to take a guess here I just try to mull to try some of the more anti-aggro cards yeah it's even we're looking for clownfish we're looking for ravager we're looking for that type of minion the other type of minions don't really matter to us. So far, it's okay. Huh? At least it wasn't healing. Healing was the worst one in this scenario. Okay. I'm debating just slamming this. Hmm. I can't tell if just slamming Finley is correct here. We do have like Snowfall into Brilliant Macaw, which is pretty good. But like, the rest of his hand is so little. Okay, I think I have an extra turn before I'm forced to slam it if I don't hit anything playable. Yeah, this is not going well. What? How does this always thing happen? Can I concede? He's holding like 12 minions. I don't understand how I hit Gen. At all. genuinely don't understand how even the one drop he hit was like insane 
This is actually mental. What in the actual good name of fuck? Look at what he hit, man. Hit zero O2s, which is, that's like the only good thing. It said he missed on the O2s. The only good thing about what just happened is that he missed on the O2s. I'm just better at the game. Clearly, I'm just built better. I still don't know how I pulled again when he had clearly a bunch of minions in hand as he plays two afterwards But whatever Um, all right, let's just let's just queue up the next one and hopefully lock another player out of the game. It's so much fun Is this the same guy? No, okay So let's say do we get to make this guy sad again? Oh, I actually like keeping... Oh, shoot, this card got nerfed, huh? Oh, I still think it's a keep. I hate the fact that they nerfed Astalor. But I could... I'm assuming in standard he was utterly broken. Seeing how much he shaped wild. I could definitely see this card just being mad busted. There's a couple really, really good draws in my deck. Um, Clownfish is really, really good. What else is like? Clown, I guess Clownfish is just probably the best draw in my deck. Aunt. Have I hit that totem every single time unless it's been on the battlefield? No, I think I hit healing totem last game once. I don't remember if. Yeah. Just playing the control game. <laughs> Just hero power pass. I'm trying to figure out, like, obviously the plan was to go next turn, Bolner Astalor, because that's just like a good play. But I can't do that anymore, sadly. So big for him. Huh? So I killed a two, three. Oh, no, I have to kill the four, four. Okay, so I have to kill the four, four, but I also freeze the board for the next like six turns, so that's fine. I this is not a bad draw. Oh, that's true. The damage doesn't get doubled. It's only the adding of the card that gets doubled. I always forget that Asselor's damage is not the battle cry, and it's... Oh, that's bad. I mean, I should be fine. I'm still at 30 health. I have holding Snowfall, Snowfall, Brilliant. No, yeah, I should just be fine. I would like him to play another minion here. That would be ideal. That's a lot of damage.
So yeah, we're looking for Grumble now. If we hit Grumble again, we just win. So. Uh, I'm gonna go with this here. Uh, no, I wanna do that next time. I go Brilliant Macaw Ostler next turn. Okay. We potentially have a board wipe next turn, which is why this is fine. We'll have a full ass board when he. Oh, well, we don't even have to play the ball part. This is what I call outplayed and outsmarted. This is fun. <laughs> My opponent is having fun. Continue playing your aggro deck. Oh, dry double Snowfall Guardian is so unfair. <laughs> Snowfall Guardian is a such a fucking unit. I love playing that card so much. Uh, anyways, I guess next game. All right, a priest. Depending what priest it is, I mean, we're like an okay matchup. Uh, certain priest matchups are awful. Certain priest matchups are just fine. Keeping the devolve in case it's big. It's potentially big or it's combo. Uh, our start is really, really slow. So if it is combo, we might just be fucked. I don't know, it's big. But the advantage against big is we do have the devolve. Uh, we are looking, um, we're looking for obviously Firemancer Flurg, but also Clownfish just to be able to play this a little bit earlier. That was the card he drew for turn, which is really good, because that means we know he did a hit, uh, Essence off Illuminate. Second Crawler, I want to play this, but it's so bad half the time that I don't think I can get myself to do it. Yeah, most of the time that is just not what you want to play. That's fine. Hoping for no palm readings. Um, still falls also not bad. We're banning just slamming this here. Uh, I should have played this. I fucked up. I burn a card now, which is potentially really, really bad. Burning a card here is really, really bad. Okay, well, at least we drew the other devolve. Firemancer Flurg, beautiful. So the only card we don't really want to burn here is Asselor or Brilliant Macaw. Any of the early game cards are actually fine burning. Okay. Well. Yeah, he was... From this point, he was probably screwed. If I'm being honest, the... Big Priest deck, going to turn 6 and not being able to do anything is really, really bad. Uh, but that's like the problem with playing that deck, right? You're, you're playing a combo deck where it's very, very easy to just lose to yourself. And that... That's why I don't think that deck is that broken personally i it's a very strong deck but it's really really strong if you hit the nuts but so is like every deck right you know pirate road creates just as many non-games when you kill your opponent on turn four as the games where you go shadow essence on turn three right they happen probably just as frequently if not less frequently in the big priest and they're just as big non-games same thing with uh aggro priest which is a deck you never see but that deck could potentially kill on turn three Right. This is why I don't see these decks as too big of an issue, quote unquote. So, yeah. Anyways, with that being said, let's queue up uh, the next game. Oh, it's either even or it's the mirror match. Either way, I don't like this matchup. Actually, the mirror match is fine. Um, I'm weird where I really like playing mirror matches in card games. Um, weirdly enough, one of the things I actually enjoy doing. 
I, I don't I genuinely cannot tell you why I enjoy playing mirror matches, but I find they're actually quite fun. Also, can I point out how I've hit first? I think I don't think I've played with a coin yet this video. I'm pretty sure all the games I've won first, which definitely is interesting playing a combo deck because typically the extra card is really really good and on top of that the coin allows you to go off a turn faster coming from playing pillager where i was hitting a lot of the mirror match where you want to hit um i can leave that up for a turn i can leave that up for a turn because the potential of Drawing Clownfish there is huge, in which case I do leave it up for two turns, but not the end of the world. We can wipe with these. Let's see, it's exactly Taunt here. We just go for a wipe. We can no longer just go for a wipe. That really sucks. Was he had a really good answer to his board too? Uh, it sucks that he had to have both. If he only had one or the other, uh, it was fine. But if he had both, it was where it was became problematic. I need to survive like three more turns, which is going to be easier said than done uh, with the current state of my board. And the fact he had a second surge. I need a top deck like Devolve. If I hit Devolve here, I win the game though. Ooh, Clownfish is very interesting. Uh... Okay, one second. Okay. So yeah, so Clownfish here was the right play. Because... I think we survive here? Nine. Are my exacties? Oh no, I'm dead. Oh, well, I didn't really have anything I could do there. So like, this was just as much a non-game as the other ones, the double Dotemic Surge game, where there was nothing I could have realistically done except for not play Ice Fishing on two, in which case my Clownfish would have been too slow. So, you know, I don't think any... I actually think Wild's in a fairly good space right now. I just wish there were a couple more interesting decks. But there is a very wide variety of decks that are playable that you can hit Legend with very easily. Um, but yeah, I just wish that there was a little bit more variety uh, in decks. Where it's just like, you have your decks that are pure, pure aggro. You have the decks that are attempting to do control that are not that great, but still exist. And then you have your pure combo decks. And that's all there is. There's no mid-range decks. And I wish there was a little bit more control that was good. But it's either combo or aggro. And... I do think it, there's a wide variety, but I do would like a little bit more diversity, I guess. I hope that makes sense. It makes sense to me. I don't know if it makes sense to you guys, but I hope it does. Anyways, uh, we have time for one last game, so let's uh, let's queue it up. Oh, great. It's arguably our worst matchup. This is the other thing that I don't... The, the one thing I don't like about the meta is the mage decks. Um, I absolutely hate both... Speaker Mage and Quest Mage. Those are the only two real big downsides, I guess, for this meta. Um, I just find they're very unfun to play against. They're the single decks I have the least fun playing against. I'm gonna wait. As the baiting just going for the Quinn Rat play to see what he's on, but if he is on. I guess there is a possibility where he was on like Reno. Oh, that's really good for me. A little bit less good, but I mean, he could trade all of his guys into my guy and I get do get rid of the black mage, which is very good for me. Yeah, I'm okay with this. See, this is what I have to hope is he just doesn't have a secret draw. Brawler? Or, sorry, Ravager? I need Ravager. Just to have, like, actual cards in my hand. Ow, my hair is caught in knots. I just ran my fingers through my hair, and I, I just yanked out a huge chunk of hair. Problem with having long hair is it always gets in knots. You have to be brushing it, like... 
in every 10 minutes it feels. <laughs> uh... He really thought two damage there was more important. Coin this up forces him to play a minion here. That's fine. Or at least that should be fine. That is a card that needs a nerf. Okay. My board state is not the best, but it does the trick, I guess. We dealt with one conjure. We have to deal with the other two, or the other one. That can still be objection. That's a really good card here. What I wouldn't give for this to heal face again. For those who don't know, healing totem actually used to heal your face for one uh, during beta. That was really cool days. I miss those days. So insane. That's such a good card for him to have here. Sucks that every card I've hit this game has been not what I wanted. Wanting a combination of Ice Fishing uh, Ravagers to be able to actually develop a board. But I'm just sitting on like nothing. It's really, really bad. As long as he doesn't play a secret here, I'm fine, but I think the odds of him not playing a secret are zero. <laughs> he drew three cards. There's no way he doesn't have any secrets in that hand. The fact that he played two and then he played a six mana five five that drew two cards or three cards is kind of insane. I should have probably got the 4-4, four four, but I really wanted to push some damage here, I think. I think wanting to push damage here is correct. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, that's when I control the board. Four goes into four. This goes here. This goes here. Hmm. This is like super greedy, but I think it's the play I want to go for. He doesn't have a single minion in hand. Interesting. Okay, so that means those are all spells. He's played one objection. So next turn I go Astalor, like the small one to test. And then I think from now on, I'm just slamming like Astalor, 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 Astalor. Type thing. I actually would like to find a smaller minion here. This is so bad, but it's going to get counterspelled and I'm going to cry. Hmm. 
It's a 50-50. I figured. I didn't want to test with... That was another one that he discovered. That means he has another objection. I lost. Oh well. Oh well. We tried. This thing even got nerfed. Hmm. Uh oh. Two enemies. Summon some. Oh, I meant to go heal. Whoop. Punished. I meant to go heal, then hopefully hit the two, three taunts. Now I'm just dead. Actually, I'm not quite just dead, actually. Interestingly enough. Oh, no. He discovered the spell that killed me. I actually guess I didn't die. Forgot that he couldn't trade in with the four, two. And still have lethal. Oh well. I don't think it mattered. Um. Yeah, I don't even know how to explain what the fuck just happened. Uh, I thought I was in a much better position than that. Turns out I wasn't. I think I misplayed. Oh well. Yeah, I don't. Probably shouldn't have slammed Shutterwalk when I did. I should have slammed the Asalor and dealt the damage. Even though I didn't get full value out of it, just deal the seven. This way I can hold Shutterwalk in hand. And then there was a time where I wasn't sure if it was explosive runes or if it was objection, and I have to risk the 50 50. Um, if it was objection, I lost uh, if I went Snowfall. If it was explosive runes, I lost if I went uh, Finlay. So I had to go for the 50 50 because he had played one and then he had played one of each, right? So it was either not objection or it's not, or I guess it's either not objection or it is objection. And there were more secrets that were not objection left in his deck in the second rigged fair games, second counter spell, and, or sorry, it couldn't be counter spell. It was rigged fair games, nether portal, uh, ice block, or it was objection basically, or flame ward. So I had to just go, and there was higher likelihood that it was not objection, but it was the what it was the objection. So, what can you do? Uh, I don't know if I misread that. I should have probably still just tried. Um, we opened a legendary here, so we're opening different packs this time. You know what? I'm done to do one GVG, one grand tournament, and one whispers. Yeah, why not? But yeah, no. I think I played that fairly well. Uh, there was definitely some turns where I think I misplayed. Um, I think I should have probably held on to some amount of the... That was the game I played the... Uh... Ooh, that's pretty cool. I don't remember if that was the game I played the... Uh... The first schooling or not. But if I had played the first schooling, I should have probably held on to the one ones to try and test for objection. But I misplayed that uh, very badly. Oh, oh well.
nothing too good on these packs i guess we got one golden rare one additional rare um but yeah oh well i think i definitely could have played that last game better the even shaman game i don't think i could have played that better uh i was gonna go for the ice fishing there like 99 percent of the time um because just like the like if put it this way if the ice fishing i was holding toxin right if it hit firemancer flurg clownfish i had just won the game uh if it had hit firemancer flurg uh crawler or ravager sorry i would have won the game probably because i would have been able to wipe i just missed on the firemancer so oh well anyways no but besides that this deck this deck is really fun i do not the biggest fan of uh finley still in the deck i just think that there's better cards like i would have rather been playing like the three the two two one murlocs i forgot the name uh i misspelled murlocs because i didn't hit the m key on my keyboard but i got a three uh it won't show up do this this guy the twin fin i think it was better i think it would be better if i was just running that it would have won me in that last game so i could have just slammed twin fin got it objected to and then snowfall um but yeah no i think i just slightly misplayed what can you do sometimes it happens anyways with all that being said i hope you guys all enjoyed today's video if you guys did don't forget to like and subscribe as always follow me on twitch and twitter have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in the next one, where hopefully we can get some more dubs. All right, guys? Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.